Hey there, I'm Charlotte, the Gulf Coast Granny, and today I'm going to do something a little different. In fact, I'm going to do something I've never done before, so let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm making pear butter. I can't stand apple butter. And I saw these pears on sale at Walmart the other day, and I thought, you know what, maybe that would be a good thing to do. I don't know where the thought came from, but I'm going with it. And now I'm just going to get the cores out and dice them up. Now the recipe I'm using calls for three pounds of pears. But each pear weighs about a pound a piece. So I'm just going to double the recipe. Y'all, these are so juicy and they smell amazing. So I got all six of these pears cut up and I'm going to put them in that two quart saucepan. Now it's pretty full. See? But these pears will cook down and it won't be so full when we're finished. Now. Ooh. That's good honey. Mm. I like that. Now I need six tablespoons of honey. One, six. I just set my burner to a little less than medium. Because I don't want it to go crazy. Now I'm going to use one tablespoon of lemon juice, so that would be two because I'm doubling the recipe. Now the recipe says to just dump all of this in the pot together and then let it cook, so that's what I'm doing. Um, this is one teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're going to make it two teaspoons of cinnamon, teaspoon of ground ginger, whoops, that was a lot of salt, and a half a teaspoon of salt. It also calls for a pinch of nutmeg. I don't know what a pinch looks like, but I'm just going to guesstimate about that much right there. And a little pinch of cloves. Well, I need two pinches, so about that much right there. And I don't want the cloves to overpower the flavor. Now we're going to let it cook down until it gets really soft and kind of caramelized and brown. Now the bottom has gotten a little bit warm and, and those pears are so juicy. I couldn't believe it. Let me taste one. Oh my goodness. Y'all that's going to be delicious. See I don't care for apples very much. But I do love pears. And that was one of the reasons that I decided to do this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let that cook until these all break down. And it shouldn't be too long. I'm going to go ahead and put just a tiny bit of lemon zest in here. And that was just to give it a little more authentic lemon flavor. That uh, stuff in the bottle sometimes, to me, tastes a little less than authentic. Now, I probably don't have to tell you, but while you're cooking this, it's a really good idea to keep stirring rather frequently so that it doesn't burn to the bottom of your pan. This is a very sticky, sticky dish. Okay, now that this is boiling, we're gonna turn this stove down to medium-low we're going to cover it so that a little bit of steam can escape. This needs to simmer on medium-low heat for 50 minutes. We're halfway finished, guys. Look at that. This is really breaking down, but I think what I'm going to do is use my uh, immersion blender now. <laughs> Now 
Here, now we're going to let it cook another 20 minutes, and we're going to see how thick it gets. So we have 15 minutes left on this pot of pear butter, and I made an executive decision to go ahead and remove the lid because I don't believe that it can thicken up properly with all of that condensation dripping back into the pot from the bottom of the lid. So let's see what happens. All right, this is finished. Look how pretty it is. It's kind of a golden brown color. And now we're going to can it. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this next step because I've never canned anything in my life. I'm okay with cooking things that I've never cooked before. But this is a new adventure and we're gonna see how I do, okay? Now, the moment of truth. This looks a little thin to me, but we'll see if it thickens up after it's finished. Pour it in the jars. Oh, that's the only one that had anything on it. There. Supposed to screw these on finger tight. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this bad boy up. <clears throat> moment of truth, I think. All right, we're going to set them in the basket. Stick them under the water. And once this starts boiling, we're going to put the lid on it and let it process for 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's going to take it to start boiling. I'll hear it when it starts boiling. I hope. Hey, Poppy, make a piece of toast. Oh, yeah, that's nice and thick. Look at this. It's cooled off a little bit, and look at that. I think that's the right consistency. What do you think, Papa? You think that's the right consistency? Well, it's not even cold yet. It looks great to me. Taste it. Tell me what you think. Violet, you want to taste some? Well, come here. 
try it. You don't have to be on the camera. You like it? Yeah? Good. Are you painting the car? They're my guinea pigs, y'all. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good, I can make more. Set the timer for 10 minutes. We're going to see. I don't know if you have to turn it down before you pull them out or if it matters. I'm going to set these on this towel over here. Oh, it just popped! Oh my god, that one popped! Holy crap, that was three pops! I did it! I did it! I did it! This is amazing! Oh my god! It's like Christmas! <laughs> y'all i might be a little bit too excited but i successfully canned three jars of pear butter look at that and all three of the lids popped as soon as i took them out of there you know made the little thunk sound hey so that was exciting y'all have a great day and i'll talk to you again real soon all right